Hello everyone, Justin here and today let's draw a pirate skull and so let's just go ahead and start first by marking off basically the proportions so we've got a circle let's break that in half we've got the center line for the mid part of the face so this will be the brow the eyes will be right under here so up here we've got the hairline we've got the brow We've got the nose and we've got the chin down here. Okay, we're gonna cut off the sides of the the head. So now we've got the basically where the eye sockets are gonna be, right here. And we've got the bottom of the nose here, but since we're drawing a skull, we basically have a hole right there. So right here, we've got our mouth, and we'll just kinda make the curve here between the upper and the lower teeth and draw a couple lines where the lower the roots of the teeth would be going and now we've got the chin so let's go ahead and uh, give him a bandana and we'll bring it a little bit higher here and give him a an eye patch so We'll make that kind of big, like right there. And let's go, let's make the cheekbones. And I'm gonna start making these a little bit darker now, the, our lines, now that I kind of have an idea of where I need to go. So we've got these cheekbones that come out, the maxilla, and then the jaw then comes out from under here and go down and I think I'll just go ahead and make this jaw a little bit longer and curve it out you don't want to you don't really want straight lines necessarily especially for something that's organic like this so make sure you just keep your lines nice and smooth nice curves and let's go ahead and make his eye look like he's angry he's mean so we've got kind of like a furrowed brow here and darken the hole like that maybe add some shadows here That, and then we've got our bandana now let's not forget the eye patch so we're gonna make this black of course and I'll give it a little bit of a gradient so it's a little bit lighter here on the left and going over to the right getting a little bit darker This might actually look good as a black and white uh, pen drawing and maybe I'll do that next time. Anyway, so let's let's go ahead and give this some thickness for the string that holds the patch and going around the head on this side. So let's continue on with the bandana for now. So this is wrapping around the head here and maybe give it some folds so because we've got folds here this outline here isn't going to be a perfect curve see how I'm going in there and then coming out again and maybe another fold up here and some more folds on this side with the bandana because it's not going to be perfect when they first put it on and I'm gonna just add some shading now on this side
and a little bit of shading as well on this side just to give this head the sculpt um, some form where this is catching a lot of light whereas the sides are receding away and would be darker all right and let's also go ahead and add some like a knot here and then maybe another knot here I'm not really paying attention to how the knots actually tied we can add the ends of the bandana here maybe and I'm just gonna have it so it's hanging down and just make these lines the the bandana part here the ends flowing so it doesn't look so stiff and I'll add another one back here and I'm gonna put that in shadow so it's kind of dark and again make it a little bit darker because it's a little bit farther all right let's go back to the skull so here we're gonna add some of this shading that we did on that side and here just to give it more form and darken the nose hole now and we've got the septum here so I'm going to leave that middle section just a little bit lighter and then lighten up on the pressure here just add a few more shadows all right so now we've got the teeth here I'm just gonna go ahead and outline it outline all the teeth and these are just basically egg shaped and at the bottom as well so here I'm gonna actually add a little bit of space between the upper teeth and the lower teeth okay so same thing add these egg shaped teeth and I'm not really paying attention to how many I've got Normally it's eight on either side, at the top and at the bottom. And let's go ahead and actually make it so he's missing a couple teeth here. All right, so these are curving away. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and shade the farther teeth, the ones that are away from us a little bit, just so there's some form again. And Add more shadow here. Make this part a little bit darker. Give it some nice contrast. So next, what we'll do is add bones that cross. So, like, like so. And we'll just make these fairly simple kind of like a femur where we've got the condyles that stick out like that and then it narrows down to a shaft and let's just make sure that these line up a bit line up well and same thing on this side give it a little bit of shading and I'm just gonna go ahead and erase those initial lines maybe hide it with a little shading all 
and on this side as well. Let's go ahead and add the bones on this side. And as the bone goes behind the skull, I'm going to add some shade, shading. Let me erase our initial line. And go across to the upper right and add the other end of this bone. And that should pretty much do it. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Please let me know what else you'd like me to draw or try to draw and I will try to do it. So thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.